tonight from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. The Red Sox need a win to stave off a sweep here in game three and go back into a first place tie with the New York Yankees. It's a battle of lefties in Eduardo Rodriguez and CC Sabathia. Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. Great to have you along. I'm Dave O'Brien. My partner is Jerry Remy. Garen Austin in just a couple of moments. Jerry, a gut-wrenching defeat for the Sox last night. But in the defeat, a two-run homer by Mitch Moreland. Again, serving notice, he should be in the lineup. Exactly right. And Atlas Cora made that decision yesterday that he should be in the lineup, and he's in there again tonight. He had a great night here last night. He took a Tanaka fastball early in the ball game and took it out of the ball box. The ball's going to be down and in, and he lifts it out. And then he made a couple of great defense defensive plays also in the ball game where he saves Devis from making an error defensively down there at third base a wild throw the first base and look at the stretch by Moreland then he takes two bases away from Brett Gardner a little bit later in the game so an outstanding effort all the way around for Moreland look at the numbers over the five game hitting streak for him 524 four of his six home runs have come in the last five games and eight RBIs and that's why he's in the lineup. Now he's in there tonight against CC Sabathia. He's one for five in his career off Sabathia. So hopefully he can stay hot because they need him in the lineup right now. Sure do. Batting six tonight for Alex Cora. We take you to the break with some of the sights and sounds. What has been a very compelling series so far. It's felt more like October in this series than May. These have been big time games in front of huge crowds with all sorts of drama. And the Red Sox and the Yankees go at it again. It is game three. The Sox in need of the win in New York. Coming up next. Time for us to send it down to Garen Austin for more on the David Price saga. Hi, OB. Well, David Price is back in New York after meeting with doctors in Boston. Now, he threw a longer-than-usual bullpen today, and he said that he felt great, and he's excited to make that start on Saturday. Here's more from Price. Threw uh, a bullpen. Felt good. Um, I like the, the longer I was out there and the more I threw, the stronger it felt and the better it felt. So that was that was good. Yes, I'll, um, I'll be ready to pitch on Saturday. I knew it was not my shoulder. I knew it was not my elbow. You know, I was very adamant to uh, to AC and Brad and, and Dana. You know, before we made this decision, you know, I knew both of those things were fine. You know, I knew um, in my wrist, you know, hand palm area that was. Uh, that was where the problem was, and that uh, that was the case. And we're, we're working you know, on it every day for a long time to make it better. Right now, this is just something that happened, you know, over time. You know, this is uh, this didn't stem from from any one thing. You know, I'm I'm born in 1985, so that's uh, that's the video games generation. You know, I've being a Red Sox is the the least amount of video games I've ever played. Price said that he'll change some of his habits if he needs to and that he is committed to doing what he needs to do in the training room to staying healthy. OB. Time since March 30th. And since getting no hit in Oakland by Sean Manaya on the 21st of April, the Sox are eight and nine. So looking to pull it together again. And here's a look at the Red Sox lineup. Brought to you by Toyota's website for deals, buyatoyota.com. Buki Betts will lead it off in center field. Andrew Benintendi in left. Tanner Rivera is the number three man. He's the DH, a homer here last night. J.D. Martinez in right. Xander Bogarts will play shortstop and bad fifth. Mitch Moreland at first base again, hitting out of the six hole. Eduardo Nunez at second base. Then it's Rafael Devers at third. And Christian Vasquez, the catcher, hitting ninth. Gets the left-hander CC Sabathia. He is 2-0, a 139 ERA. He's pitching in his 18th major league season. Let's take a look at the Yankees defense. They are 13th in the American League with 26 errors in 36 games. Ronald Torres will be at third base. DD Gregorius the shortstop. Gleyber Torres at second, and Tyler Austin the first baseman. Left to right, Giancarlo Stanton, Brett Gardner, and Aaron Judge, and Gary Sanchez doing the catching for CC Sabathia. Tonight's umpire is brought to you by Toyota's website for deals. Buyatoyota.com. Stu Shearwater has the plate. Eric Cooper is at first. Gary Cedarstrom is at second base. He's the crew chief. And Corey Blazer at third base. We're available. This telecast can be heard in Spanish by selecting the SAP button on your TV remote. SAP presented by Toyota. Visit Copper2Toyota.com to see Toyota deals not seen on TV. Buenas noches, amigos. The weather. 
Got a little dicey this afternoon. There were some showers, and there is a possibility of more of them tonight. And a little cooler tonight than the first two games, 61 degrees. And we are set for the first pitch. Red Sox against CC Sabathia, who defeated Boston four times last year. First one on the way to Mookie Betts. A strike and run away. And Sabathia spent some time on a disabled list earlier in the season, a right hip strain since coming back 2-0 with an 0.39 ERA. Oh. 6 6 300 pounds he's all of that. 37 years old. Mookie appears to get a pretty good look at him he's 7 out of 21 against Sabathia that's 333. 2 and 1. That's at one time Sabathia used to throw about 97, 98 miles an hour. He's a different guy now. Finesse pitcher. Tough to hit nonetheless, the 2 1. And ball three. A couple of close ones not going Sabathia's way. To the delight of Mookie Betts. Worked his way into a nice hitter's count. Here comes the 3 1 from the lefty. Mookie 0 for 4 last night in the Sox defeat. So he had a rare, quiet evening. Still leading the majors outright with 13 home runs. Three two. Sock to right field. That one headed for the wall down in the corner. It's going to get to the warning track and skip into the stands for a double. Mookie Betts, a quick strike going to the opposite field for two. Yeah, Mookie Betts gets a breaking ball from Sabathia, taking it the other way and one hop over the fence for the double. Breaking balls away from him on the outside part of the. And it gave the Red Sox the lead in the seventh inning, a two run shot. And things were really looking up for Boston. The red hot J.D. Martinez is on deck a man at third and one down. Last night Hanley gets a breaking ball as you can see right there and just absolutely crutches it out of the ballpark for the home run up in the second deck. He has not had much luck against Sabathia at least heading into tonight two for twenty two. One of those hits is a home run. Sabathia will go at that fastball about 89. He'll cut it. He'll throw a curveball. He'll throw the changeup. That last pitch was a changeup to Ramirez. Two and one. That fastball up and out of the strike zone and Haley chasing at 89 miles an hour. Sox trying to strike first here tonight. In the finale of the series. Sabathia's 2 1 home. Ground ball the shortstop and Mookie's going to score as the throw comes on to first base and Hanley Ramirez gets that run in. Gregorius did take a look at home plate. But Mookie scored without a throw to home. Yeah he takes a look because the balls hit hard and when the balls hit hard you may say if he didn't get a good break and he's not running hard maybe I got him. But that was not the case with Betts. See him take a look right here at home plate almost almost decided to throw it there then had plenty of time to get Ramirez at first base. So the Red Sox pick up the first run of the ball game. You see Mookie when he saw D.D. Gregorius looking in, he had to pick it up a little bit. 37th time that Mookie has scored. That's number one in the major leagues. And now Martinez will bat with the bases empty. The way he's swinging it, that's good news for Sabathia. 351. He leads the majors in batting average. 
the change up that time outside part of the plate 84 miles an hour. Sox by the way 13 and 2 when they score the first run. Martinez has hit safely in 10 straight. I think Moki was getting coached up a little bit by Ron Rennick in that dugout look and a ground ball even with the infield back. Bust your tail getting home. You slow up a little bit. See what Gregorius did. He almost threw it home. One two to J.D. Martinez. You should reach Xander Bogarts with three hits last night is up next. And a 2 2. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, but the Red Sox score first here tonight. Against CC Sabathia. Better Aaron Judge in right. DD Gregorius in short. The number four man is Stanton Sanchez doing the catching. Tyler Austin at first base. Miguel Andohar will be followed by Glaber Torres and Ronald Torres, who's at third base against the Red Sox starter presented by New England Audi dealers. Left hander Eduardo Rodriguez. He's 3 0. ERA is 5 2 9. And a sign to keep the Red Sox from being swept here tonight. Gardner big night last night he was really their hero with the game winning eighth inning two run triple with the outfield playing shallow he also doubled twice break out of a slump Gardner's had good success against Rodriguez 313 with a home run against him in his career. Big Aaron Judge on deck. Here's the 1 1 from the lefty. You look at the Red Sox infield, too. They're all in a little bit because he can run so well down that first base line. Nunez at second base in a couple of steps. Bogots will come in a couple of steps. Dev is even with the bag, and Morland just behind the bag. Fly ball pretty well hit, but Benintendi plenty of space there. Out number one. The Red Sox defense is brought to you by Southwest Airlines. They are fifth in the league with 18 errors in 36 games. Rafael Devers at third base, and De Bogots the shortstop, and Juan Nunez at second, and Mitch Mall in the first baseman, left to right. Benintendi, Betts, Martinez, and Christian Vasquez doing the catching for Rodriguez. Here's Judge, 308, nine home runs. He won last night, 27 runs batted in. Hit a blistering two run home run in the eighth inning went three for four and he drove in three. Two and oh back to last night. Yeah, absolute bullet out towards center field of Kimbrell. That ball didn't take very long to get out of Yankee Stadium. Took aim at the monuments out there. That drifts away three and nothing. A key matchup presented by Sullivan Tire and complete auto service. We're always here to get you there. Judge against the Red Sox this season. 526. That's a far cry from last year when the Red Sox really oh. held him down. But this season he's 10 for 19 with two homers and five RBI. So he's been in a lot of trouble. Both he and Stanton in particular. He'll take ball four. So the Yankees have a base runner in front of Gregorius. You know, we showed you the home run there against Kimbrell, and that sparked a pretty lively debate. And we were talking about it immediately, too, during the telecast about Craig Kimbrell in the eighth inning. Yeah, you know, you're going to see it again, but I don't think you're going to see it to try to get five outs in a ball game. Now, you know, Carr is committed to using him in key situations, and he's not going to change his mind on that. But you got to wonder about the mindset of, of Craig Kimball. That's that's my point. 
Gregorius at 308, nine home runs. Oh. I think ideally, Dave, you know, you'd like to have him in there to get four outs. If you can do that, you get a quick out, then you get the, the ninth inning. I think it's a little different story. Well, he's so good, and I don't think anyone's better in a clean ninth inning to get three outs. Best in the business there. And in the eighth inning, he has had issues in the past, not just last night. That's something he hasn't done very much throughout his career. So, I mean, some would argue, why put him in a position he's not thrilled to be in when he's great at doing the other thing? Instead of trying to get four or five outs, when Luke Fowl back out of play two and one on Gregorius. But as you say, right now Alex Cora is committed to the idea of nope. using occasionally in that role. He's never in his life had a save of more than four outs. Exactly. And spectacular as a ninth inning man. 300 saves faster than anybody. Here comes the 2 1. He wouldn't chase it. 95 on the radar gun. Yeah, he's uh, got a good fastball tonight, working away from Gregorius. Gregorius, 0 for his last 19. But the fastball clearly here will miss. Pitch number four, just off the outside edge. Up until this series, Gregorius was having an outstanding year. He's 0 for 8 in the series. And a 3 1. Fly ball pretty well hit again. Benintendi though to his right on the move. He's got it. And Judge drifting back to first base two down. Time for our twisted but true fact. The Yankees last eight games have been played against teams in first place at the start of play. The Yankees have gone 8-0 in those games. According to Elias, it's the second longest winning streak against solely first place clubs in Major League history. Twisted tea tastes like real ice tea. Be a little twisted. Here is Giancarlo Stanton, 237, nine homers, and a two run double last night. And the combination of Stanton and Judge are 20 for 38 against the Red Sox this season with 12 RBIs. Those two have been deadly. One and one. I talked about it in game one of this series. We're in a we're in an age of lift and launch swings, but Stanton does not have one of those. And of course, he hit all kind of home runs last year. He's a guy that goes to the baseball and hits underspin home runs. And we've noticed a couple of times in this series. When he makes contact, that ball just absolutely jumps off the bat. Yeah, Aaron Boone described his first home run the other night. The bullet down the left field line is a superhero home run. Got out so quickly. Wave and a miss. That yep. disappeared on him. Yeah, very good changeup right there by Rodriguez. Couple of home runs in this series. One pulling it. Now that's not a lifting line. That he, he got his hands above the baseball. And the same thing on this, the other one to the opposite field. Then he gets that handoff from the third base coach and takes it home into the end zone. He would not have performed that little maneuver around third base one time at Fenway Park. Not on that night, Sanchez on deck. Because neither one of those would have gotten out of Fenway. Might have gone through the wall. It's like a 3 2 changeup. Runner goes, it's foul at the plate. Stanton hangs in there. Sox on top, one to nothing. Yankees with an eight game winning streak. They've won 17 out of 18. 
Very similar to what the Red Sox did back in April. Long, long look in. And the payoff pitch. Got a piece again. Bring up a long tough at bat here against Erod. And a cut fastball that he fouled off, just barely fouling it off. Eduardo's been tough on the Yankees in the past. He's four and two with a 296 ERA against New York. Some of the best outings of his career have come against the Yankees. Back to the changeup. Judge takes off again and a hard ground ball right to the shortstop. Xander Bogarts zips it over to get him. One man left. Since the 7th of April, Red Sox are number one in baseball with 45 over Cleveland's 44. Xander Bogarts has three on the season. He will lead off against Sabathia here in the second. Red Sox with a 1 0 advantage. Bogarts had been skidding a little bit, but certainly not last night. He pounded out three hits. He went three for five. Mitch Moreland on deck, followed by Eduardo Nunez here in the second. A lot of change ups early here for CC Sabathia. Very quickly ahead, 0 and 2. Yes. Trying to hold up as a swing and a miss, strike three. He's had that kind of trouble with CC in the past. Now, four for 29. Let's find out what Garrett Austin is working on tonight. Hey, Garrett. OB Jerry, it is early, but the chants have already started. This series has had an electric atmosphere, and I talked to Eduardo Rodriguez about what it's like to pitch in this kind of an environment. Also, there was a very special guest yesterday at the Boys and Girls Club of Roxbury, and I will tell you who made a special appearance, guys. Garrett, thank you very much. Look forward to that. Moreland gets in 342, six home runs, including one last night, a two-run shot. Well, and it has been different, a different feel in this ballpark, particularly as compared to past regular season series here. It has been electric. There's been a great buzz in the crowd. It's been all night long. We've seen it the first two nights of this series with packed houses here. That's New York. You know, I mean, when New York teams are playing good, this is the way they react. And it's a it's a loud place but not as loud as the old Yankee Stadium I can tell you that. One one. Well not many at bats against Sabathia as a left hand hitter one for five. Yeah, the old place had a life of its own didn't it? It was totally different than any other ballpark. In the country. Breaking ball downstairs. But you're right. You know, there, there has been a buzz here the last three games, and it's good. You know, the Yankees have been playing incredible baseball. You got the Red Sox in town who, you know, came in in first place. So you kind of expected this. Fouled at the plate to stay alive. Although there have been many times, even Red Sox Yankee series in recent years, it didn't have this feel. No. When you came in here. I agree. It's, it's probably the loudest I've ever heard this place, you know, for a Red Sox Yankees game. Yep. They have been in it 2 2. He struck him out. That one tied him up. That's three consecutive strikeouts for the lefty. Right in on the hands of Moreland that time with the fastball from Sabathia. See Sanchez moving inside. He wants it way inside. That's exactly where they get it. That ball's a good four inches off the uh, plate. 
Nunez hitting 243 home runs for Eduardo, two for nine against CC in his career. And last year, he bunted on Sabathia. Yeah, and Sabathia didn't like it, right? Not one bit. Tough. <laughs> now a line drive base hit into right field. So no bunt here, but he gets himself a single with two down. Opposite field base hit by Nunez. The reason I say tough, I mean, what? The guy's out there pitching. You're not supposed to bunt on him because he's got bad knees. I'm sorry. If, you, if your knees are so bad, don't pitch. If you're out there competing, I got to compete too. Well, we flash back to that moment last year. Try to take advantage of the bad knee. And he was safe. And Sabathia kind of let him have it a little bit verbally. And then after the game, he continued to talk about he didn't like it. That's too bad. That's a shame. Devers hitting 259 with six home runs, attacking on the first one. Well, last night in the eighth inning, his was the key at bat, I thought. Second and third, nobody out. Red Sox up by a run. Yeah. I agree, Dave. But he struck out. Vasquez struck out. Boone then walked Betts to load him. Ben Intendi would ground a short to end it. Huh. Red Sox failed to add on there. And that was a golden opportunity to do it. Maybe put the game away. Oh, and two on Raphael. Lunging a little ground ball here to Reyes will not throw it. go back to second base not in time to get Nunez and so Devers barely got the bat on it but he winds up safe maybe that's the key right there of defeating the shift take a half a swing a check swing and he just rolls it down that third base line to Reyes had nowhere to go with it and Devers picks up the base hit we found a new way to defeat the ship a check swing so back to back two out singles there's the contact right there right toward the end of the bat and he actually look, he just flicks his wrist to make contact so a chance for the Red Sox to add on here's Vasquez batting 194. Guy in need of a big hit. And he'll take ball one. Christian one for five in the series. Sox got the first run of the ball game in the first inning on a double by Mookie Betts to start the night, and then Hanley Ramirez with a one out ground out. To chase him in. Oh, one and one. All even up here on Vasquez. Vasquez taking some extra work today in the batting cage uh, underneath the near the Red Sox clubhouse, working a long time on his swing, trying to get something going. Has hit second. Devers on at first. In the last game of a series, the Sox are 10 and 1 so far in 2018. Maybe 2 1. All right, ground ball behind third. Therese with a nice stab. Throws and took him off the bat. He's safe. And everybody's going to be safe. Nunez into third, and they're all loaded up. They're going to hold up a second and maybe take a look at this. Uh, we'll see. Has the jump. Does the tag get him on the back? It may have got him on the back before the put got to the back. 
play will be under review. Yeah, and I think the Yankees may win this one. Here's the jump. Let's see the tag. Uh, tough to see from that angle. But if he did tag him, I think he's going to be out. Yeah, he tagged him. The Yankees are already walking off the field, or at least Sabathia is. Got to agree. I don't think this is going to take very long at all. And he is out. So they reversed that call. That's the third final out of the inning. Red Sox with a couple of hits, but nothing across. Yankee Stadium, Red Sox have the lead 1 0. Jerry Remy, Dave O'Brien, Garen Austin. And Eduardo Rodriguez back to work. He'll take on Gary Sanchez here. He's hitting 205, but with nine homers. Won the Silver Slugger last year. Goes to the top offensive player at his position. Austin on deck, Tyler Austin, and then Miguel Andohar. And 1 1. Sox are headed for Toronto. Chris Sale on the bump tomorrow night. David Price will go on Saturday. That's a 4 o'clock game, and then 1 o'clock, Drew Pomerantz. That'll end the road trip, and it has been a long one. Up the middle, Xander Bogart's behind the bag. One down. Don't miss a game, especially when the Sox are on the road. Import the Nesson Red Sox schedule on any device at Nesson.com slash schedule. It's presented by Franklin Sports, the official batting glove of the Red Sox and Major League Baseball. Alex Cora telling David Price, we're going to take it slowly, and if you feel anything in that hand, if the numbness returns and you can't grip the baseball, whatever it might be, we're going to get you out of the ball game. And the Red Sox have a plan for that, should it occur. Huh. David also says he does not believe that this malady occurred because of playing video games, although he is not going to play video games in a Red Sox clubhouse any longer. But he believes that's not the root of it. He said, I am of that generation. I was born in 1985. I am of the video generation. But he said, I, I've played less video games with the Red Sox than any club I've been with. Well, we are in the video uh, video game generation, that's for sure. And, and, and most of the players do play those games. Fortnite is the runaway hit and it is with the Red Sox to be candid a lot of guys play it and the games go for a long long time. David Price isn't the only one who plays it. a lot of guys do. You and I had to look up exactly what the details of Fortnite are before tonight's game so we are not of that generation clearly. Here's the two one. Yeah, when I have to do that, I feel like I'm about a thousand years old, but I can't even do it. I never, never even tried. Plus, I don't do anything. I just do <laughs> baseball. <laughs> <laughs> it's... <laughs> I wish I could argue that I can't. The three-one is pop foul back out of play. Bogarts with his Fortnite sign. We've seen that all season long. I guess it's one of those end of the world survivor games. You got me, Dave. I, I, have no, I have absolutely no clue. And that's about the extent of my knowledge on it. But it is a huge hit, not just among the Red Sox, but. Professional sports teams everywhere that will be in there for strike three. So Austin will take a seat. First K in the book for Rodriguez here. Yeah, it looked like he was totally surprised by the fastball from Rodriguez that time, right down the middle of the plate. See Vasquez setting up his side. The ball leaks a little bit, picks up the inside corner. 
Two up, two down. Andahar will climb in. He's the DH tonight. 272 with three home runs. And Gardner had the big night last night. And after the game, he deflected a lot of the credit to guys like Andahar and Labor Torres and the younger guys who have come up to help the Yankees. And there for a strike. So Gardner was really the hero with the triple and the two doubles. Yankees had to come from behind win. Good cut fastball right there by Rodriguez. 91 on that cutter. It's a little bit above average for him. It's a little break right at the end. And on top of it was Anduha. One, two. And hey. struck him out. 94. He pinned it to the corner to get him. New York, and a man who scored that run is about to lead off. Mookie Betts. Mookie with a double. Right away down the right field line against Sabathia. And then Hanley Ramirez brought him in one out later. Having to jump the rope to get free of that one. Benintendi and Ramirez will follow Buki. He's been rough on the Yankees. Six runs, eight RBIs in five games. And batting 333. Been rough on a lot of people. The 1 1. Roll toward third foul. Sabathia appeared very close to retiring after last season. Despite going 14 and 5, but the Yankees convinced the veteran left-hander to come back. He's done a heck of a job so far this season. He's won 239 games in his career. Shot into center field, and it drops down for a base hit. Mookie Betts is two for two. Celebrate Mother's Day at Fenway on Sunday, May 13th. With a walk in the park presented by Bank of America. It's a free event giving fans the opportunity to walk around the warning track, sit inside the dugouts, and more. You can visit RedSox.com for more information. You'll have a lovely time. You may run into Garrett Austin, who is a wonderful human being, and I'm sure she'll sign an autograph or take a photo with you. It's a slicer down the left field line, but off into foul territory by Benintendi. He was 0 for 1. He belted one of the three Red Sox home runs last night. Likes this ballpark. He's hit six home runs at Yankee Stadium since the beginning of last season. Good size lead by Betts. Last night, the home run from Benintendi came on a hanging breaking ball from Tanaka. Throws that slider, it just stays right over the middle of the plate, and Benintendi takes it out of the ballpark for his second home run of the season. 0 2. Hard hit, base hit, and a right. Betts taken off, rounding second. Churning it at third. Benintendi wants second base. The throw will be cut, and they're going to be safe at second and third. So the Red Sox charging at Sabathia here in the third inning. Boy, did he do a nice job getting on top of a high fastball that time and finding that hole between first and second. Watch the location of this pitch, how high it is up around the letters, but he gets on top of it and hits that top spin ground ball that gets through, and then Judge is going to go so far. Ben and Teddy's got the kind of speed where he can beat that at second base. So the Red Sox off quickly here in the third inning. Right there, he's thinking about two. He's got the play in front of him. Benintendi with a double. Second and third, nobody out for Hanley Ramirez. He swings at the first pitch. 
and pops it up back toward the netting. Sanchez gives it a look over and into the crowd. And the 289 now, four homers. And in an RBI spot, he has one of those tonight. His home run last night was gone at the crack of the bat. 431 feet. And since Ramirez hit a walk-off home run against the Yankees in September of 2016, he leads the majors with 10 home runs and 21 RBIs against New York. One one coming. You want some contact. That's what you want here from uh, Ramirez. Stay away from the strikeout. The infield's back. The ground ball's going to score bets from third base. Now Sabathia has struck out three. He's also allowed five hits. Sox have all the hits in the game. Betts at third, Benintendi at second. Going quite a few fastballs up in the zone to, to Hanley so far. First at bat and in this at bat. Sabathia 17 and 13, lifetime against the Red Sox, 9 and 5 at Yankee Stadium. Sox could not figure him out last year, but on the way to doing it here tonight, here comes the 2 2. And that will miss. So a full count to Ramirez and JD Martinez on deck. Base hit could mean two. Goes the other way. That's going to squeak into the outfield. One run is in. Benintendi will be held as Bet scores again. Another RBI for Hanley, and the Red Sox lead it two to nothing. I tell you what, that's a heck of a play by Gleyber Torres, the second baseman. The Red Sox get the run with the ground ball. But he goes into a dive, and you know, with men in scoring position, infielders are taught dive for the ball, try to knock it down, keep it out of the outfield, you'll save a run. And that's what he does right there. He saves another run, so instead of being 3 0, it's still 2 0. But Haley doing his job, making contact, get the ball over to the uh, to the right side. But look at this play, and that saves the run. If that ball gets by him, we're talking about a 3 0 game. And Teddy had a hold after rounding the bag. When I see that play, I think Dustin Pedroia. As Martinez swings and misses, he struck out his first time up. Now, Linfield's a taunt, you know, from the low minor leagues. Get a man in scoring position at second base. Ground ball, dive for it. Try to knock it down. However, Red Sox get another three consecutive hits to begin the third inning against CC Sabathia. And JD Martinez. Is the hottest Sox hitter right now with a 10 game hitting streak. And he's hitting 463 during the 10 gamer. First and third, and nobody out. 1 1. Uh, he meant to hit that one about 450. Yeah, it did. Trying to give the Red Sox a nice cushion here early in the ball game with this swing. And put the fans back in their seats. 
Benintendi at third, Andy Ramirez at first base. One two to JD. And a breaking ball misses. The crowd groaning, but it was off the plate. Yeah, since he wanted that pitch, he thought he had the outside corner, but no. Good call by the home plate umpire. Right, a little slider right there. Two two Hanley taken off. And a high fly down the right field line. Judge giving chase, but this will land in the seat. Andy Ramirez was in motion with the pitch. Want compelling Red Sox coverage at your fingertips? Follow at Nesson Red Sox on Twitter for news, rumors, analysis, and more, all with an entertaining and informative Red Sox angle. Two two again to Martinez. In on the knuckles. And he fights that one off. CC Sabathia leading all active major league pitchers in strikeouts, complete games, quality starts. Number two in wins. Here goes Hanley again, and again it's fouled away and off his foot. So JD in a little bit of pain trying to walk this off. Yeah, it looked like a cut fastball. Uh, Martinez is on top of and right off the left foot. He's still in pain. Cora coming out. Brad Pearson coming out as well. Red Sox head trainer. Is there anything you can do though? Yeah, not much you can do about that. As the pitch again, the cutter and right on top of the foot. Trying to walk it off right now. Indicating he is all right to complete the at bat here, two and two. Keeping an eye on a weather situation tonight because, as we reported earlier, there's possible thunderstorms in the area. Red Sox trying to pile up some early runs against Sabathia. Again, he was 4 0 against Boston last year. Didn't have a bad start against the Sox. A year ago. Steps off because Hanley was dancing around the first base back. He's getting his lead and he was dancing around. That's why uh, Sabathia stepped off. Nobody out. And a line drive and bobbled and it goes over the head of Torres. And lob it into second base. A run comes in to score. Benintendi crossing the plate. So the Red Sox with a 3 nothing lead. Line shot. I thought he was going to catch that ball. Looked like he had it in the pocket of the glove and it rolled right up the webbing of the glove and out. But they do get the out at second base, but a run scores. First out of the inning will bring up Xander Bogards. He struck out his first time up. Interesting to note, as we mentioned earlier, Xander is only four for 29 lifetime against Sabathia, but Sabathia has also walked him 10 times. And a line drive for a base hit to center. Martinez will stop at second. That's four hits in the inning. Yeah, this is good, you know, because Sabathia doesn't have much tonight. You can tell right from the beginning, you know, that his stuff is not crisp. It's not on the corners. Larry 
Gary Rothschild, longtime pitching coach. He's a holdover from the last staff coming out. That's a little cut fastball right there that, you know, gets in a little bit on the label of the bat, but uh, the line drive going out to center field for Bogarts. This is the time they got to jump on him right now because he does not have good stuff at this point in the game. The Sox have seven hits off him. Yeah. With one out in the third. No activity in their bullpen yet. Moreland will be the batter. He struck out his first trip. The inning began with a Mookie Betts base hit, then a double, two singles. And Rodriguez has to love it. Early support here in New York. Mitch with a five game hitting streak. During that streak, 11 out of 21 with four homers and eight RBIs. Nothing light about that streak. Two on, one out. He keeps feeding more of those fastballs on the inside part of the plate, even off the inside edge. Moreland's been very good with men in scoring position, batting 360. He's got Martinez at second and Bogarts at first. One and one. Gets ahead one and two dropping in the slider. Nunez on deck. An opportunity to put a big time hurt. On a big man. And a wave and a miss that'll put him away strike three so Moreland has been twice tonight. And there are two down. You can watch every out of market regular season game live at home in the office or on the go with MLB.tv. Your subscription includes MLB at bat premium. Blackout and other restrictions apply. Nunez with a base hit first time up. His third hit and 10 at bats against CC Sabathia. Routine ground ball. Gregorius has that. He gets the second base to retire the side, but Red Sox are now in front three to nothing. Outside Yankee Stadium here and now inside with the Sox have a three nothing advantage. Labor Torres to lead it off, and then it'll be Ronald Torres and Brett Gardner. And Eduardo Rodriguez has been hitting 94 95 with a fastball. Only base runner so far was Judge, who took a walk in the first. Torres hitting 333 in his 17 games he's appeared in since a recall. Yankees have gone 16 and 1 in those games. And this is ball three. Sox are heading for Toronto tonight. And the Yankees have the Oakland A's coming in. In there for a strike. He had started toward first. Yeah, borderline that time, but they're going Rodriguez's way, right at the bottom of the strike zone, barely. A's have been pretty tough. Red Sox know that. They're just a game under 500. Three and two now. Sox will be home when they finally get home on the 14th of the month for a good long stretch. And the 
3 2 to Torres. He struck him out. He came all the way back to get him. And again with the fastball. Well, again, you know, that pitch looked like it was a couple of inches inside, but called the strike. So a couple of breaks, I think, in that at bat for Rodriguez. Pitch number four and pitch number six. That's the kind of reaction you get from a hitter who just thought the umpire made a boo boo on him. All three of the strikeouts have been caught looking. Here's Torres. He's hitting a stout 362. He's hit safely in 11 of his 12 starts, so it's been a hot bat. Gardner on deck. But a lot of life in that fastball tonight from the lefty. Yeah, he's also had a good cutter in this game, too. Looks better in the stock than he did in his last outing in Texas. High fastball. And he put him away. That was good morning, good afternoon, good night. Let's get down to Garrett. Obi, I was talking with Eduardo Rodriguez about pitching here at Yankee Stadium, and he lit up. He said, I love it, the energy, the excitement, the moment. It's something that you get ready for. It's something that you get excited about. He said anyone in baseball, especially a starting pitcher, wants to pitch in a Red Sox-Yankees game. He was telling me they have a similar rivalry in Venezuela, though not as big, but he followed it growing up, and this is something that he's always wanted. He said there is nothing better than pitching in this rivalry, and he could not wait to get on the mound tonight. Guys? He's looking like it too. Four consecutive strikeouts. He's trying to make Brett Gardner number five. Gardner's 0 for 1 with a fly to left. 261 ERA here. And now Stu Shearwater, the home plate umpire, is barking at the Yankee dugout. Now Yankees are upset. You know, they the couple of calls that were very close that didn't go their way and tell them, you know, enough's enough. I've heard you. I uh, was a broadcast partner for several years with Aaron Boone. He's a real hothead. That's not true. <laughs> Just kidding. He's a long way from that, but I think he's a little hot right now. Oh. Two balls and one strike. He comes from a great baseball family. Base is empty, two down. And Eron looking for a one, two, three inning, and that's a strike. Evening up the count on Gardner. And Gardner gave Aaron Boone a lot of credit for breaking out of the slump last night. Because Boone apparently kept telling him, You're very close, you're very close. Quality at bats, even though he'd been slumping. He said the metrics indicated he was about to bust out. He did. But he's going to strike out here. In there, strike three right at the bottom of the zone to catch him looking. Three Ks in the inning. That's what that was. Science. Science. I feel Devers leading off here. I should have went to science class more. Maybe I would have hit more home runs. Should have just gone to class more. That's a good point. You make an excellent point there. It really helped. But we wound up here and we're delighted to be here. Three nothing. Sox have the lead. A little ground ball here to Torres and he will fire on to get him. Devers now one for two tonight. Time now for our social stretch with Casey. Casey what do you have for us tonight. All right here we go. The Celtics host the Cavs for game one of the Eastern Conference Finals Sunday and the Cavs making it this far with this team is only fueling the debate of Who's the best, LeBron James or Michael Jordan? MJ with three more rings and one more MVP honor than LeBron, who isn't slowing down. But what LeBron definitely is missing is a baseball career. The Phillies AAA affiliate tweeting King James that he needs to retire from basketball like Jordan did following his third title. Not surprisingly, they want LeBron to join their team, the Iron Pigs, this summer instead of a new NBA team. Love that nickname, too. A little ground <laughs> ball here by Vasquez. So he is 0 for 2 tonight. Hey, let me tell you, I, I saw Michael Jordan play baseball, and he made the right choice by going to basketball. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Terry Francona managed him in the minor yeah, leagues. Double A. 
talking about baseball players who chose the right sport a rod you know it's funny because they're not very visible at all are they? they're not they're, you don't see them anywhere you know a rod J Lo. you just you just don't see them anywhere those, those so kids just don't get out very much you know they're not on extra extra or, or, they're never on anything it's amazing what a surprise he's working for two networks yeah and we've got him on TV tonight but a cute couple Betts with a little top of the third charging in Torres went for the bear hand came up empty and Mookie is safe on another hit it should be a base hit and it is he is three for three now the only chance you got is with the bare hand right here and that's a tough one you're not going to throw out Mookie Betts even if you make the play with the bare hand he had so far to go and the ball was not hit very hard so Betts with two outs look for him to maybe try to steal off Sabathia here for three hit game of the season will send up Benintendi who doubled his last time up. Sox have eight hits the Yankees don't have one. Fire back into first Mookie will dive in safely. And Sanchez got a good throwing on behind the plate. I wouldn't call him the best of defensive catches but he can throw. Two down, good lead. Not running. Huh. Oh, that's a big lead. And a big swing. Mookie, Mookie gets a big lead because his quick first step back to the bag is very quick. And you know they got these things now they come out you know we should be in certain leads and I don't buy it because it depends on the individual. Depends how big you are how tall you are how quick your first step is. I mean it's not a guarantee that you can get to a certain spot you can go. That's a huge lead. Not running and it's wrapped in the air but fouled on the left field line. Tom Goodwin, a first base coach, with a whisper. Red Sox in the lead, three nothing. There goes Mookie. Here's the throw down, not nearly in time, not even close. Uh, stolen base. Just a matter of time, Dave. I mean, the size of the lead he had was enormous. And if you guess right, you know Sabathia is very slow to home plate. I and mean, look at the light kick right there, and Betts is already off. He's got. There's no chance of getting him. So he's in scoring position now for Benatendi. Waiting for him to go. He finally did. Two down and a 2 2. He checked. He did appeal no swing, says Corey Blazer, who worked the play last night. So the count is full on Benintendi. Take a look from the side. Did he go or not? Now he held up. Good call. Andy Ramirez has driven in two runs tonight. He's up next. And the 6 6 lefty with a 3 2. He struck him out. That'll retire the side. Red Sox ran one. And the only man to reach against him is this guy, Judge. He walked in the first inning. Oh. <laughs> Gregorius and Stanton to follow. Rodriguez coming off 10 strikeouts his last inning against Texas, but. In six innings, he also allowed five earned runs and no decision. Strikeouts were season high. That'll be ball three.
Judge, the unanimous rookie of the year last year. He was second in the MVP voting, setting a rookie record with 52 homers. Nine so far this season. And that'll be ball four, so twice Rodriguez has walked him. Don't miss WB Mason Extra Rings live right after the game. Adam Wink and Steve will break down the game, and you'll hear from Eduardo Rodriguez and Alex Cora. Whatever, whenever, wherever, who but WB Mason. Lorraine Brocco there. To your right. Also, uh, Jerry Cooney, a fighter. Celebs are out tonight. Didi Gregorius 0 for 1. He has fly to left. Red Sox have done a really good job on this guy this season. He's just 2 for 19 against Red Sox pitching. And a one nothing. He will not go after it. Two balls, no strikes. So after a walk, he's falling behind Gregorius. Giancarlo Stanton on deck. Yankees getting their second look at the lefty tonight. Pops a foul out of play. Pretty good right there. 2 0 count and Gregorius late on the fastball. Still good velocity from Erod. Ace ticket. Red Sox fans trusted source for tickets with lower prices, better service, and a great selection. Get your Celtics Cavs playoff tickets now at aceticket.com. Eastern Conference Finals. Not many thought that they would keep on rolling. Here comes the 2 1. And slap toward left foot foul. Yeah, he's averaging 94 on his fastball tonight, so he's a little bit amped up. You know, all season long he's been about 92 with a little extra giddy up on it tonight. Game one for the Celtics, Sunday at 3.30. Judge aboard, nobody out. Popped him up. Nunez in the short right. One away. And Stan will be next. Stand 0 for 1 in this one, but he's been really tough on lefties. He's hitting 400 against them with six home runs this year. Despite a really cold start, he was booed lustily here at Yankee Stadium. A couple of five strikeout games. Looks like he shook that off. There's a bullet, and Devers can't handle it. Off him into left field. Judge up to second base and stopping there. That got on Raphael Devers in a heartbeat. I'm telling the ball just rockets off this guy's bat. He has hit a number of balls in this series that have been just absolute bullets. That one is seed, and Devers could not make the play. A base hit. So first and second for Sanchez, who's 0 for 1. He has grounded out to short. The Yankees have their first hit tonight. Off the bat of Stanton.
Now another home run threat. Sanchez has hit nine of them. One away. Got jammed and he flicked that one foul for strike one. It's a good pitch there. Get that cut fastball in on the hands of Sanchez. Don't let him get extended. Let him get extended. It's going to be 3 3 in a second. Good pitch right there by Rodriguez. Sanchez at his 62nd career home run in just 206 games to tie Mark McGuire for the second most home runs through that many games in baseball history. Here's the 0 1. In there for a strike. No change up that time again. You know, Yank is going to complain about the call. It was looked like to be a little low. Boone just shaking his head right now. You can tell from the dugout high and low. You can't tell inside or outside. So, manager got a pretty good idea if that ball's too low. Two strikes on Sanchez. Judge at second, Stanton on at first. Looking for strike at number six. And it's dropped by Vasquez, but the runners will hold. In and out of the mitt, Christian Vasquez, but he got to it. Now that could have very easily been a second and third situation, but Judge not sure in second base, so he just holds up. Looks like a slider he tries to feature right there, just bounces right out of the glove of Vasquez. And went quite a distance. Now, that should have been a second and third. And time granted, Gary Sanchez here. Judge on with ball four. Stanton on with a base hit. And Rodriguez looking for a double play ball right at somebody. Well, he's been cruising tonight until this moment. And a one two. Made him move his feet. Once again, trying to tie him up inside, not let him get extended, but that pitch not even close. Tried the fastball this time. Sanchez has hit into just two double plays so far this season. To a halt. Now it usually does when Sanchez is at the plate. He takes a long time, steps out, comes in, steps back out. Writing down on the, that card the, the number of visits so far for the Red Sox. Well, I firmly believe the new rule limiting teams to six mound visits is the Sanchez rule. Well, he was he always out to the mound. Constantly. Yeah. As a catcher, of course, and as a hitter, he can slow it up too. Pacella got upset with him a couple of times last night for breaking his momentum. First and second, one down. And a 2 2. Left it up high. Tyler Austin on deck. First speed bump tonight for the Sox lefty. Three 
two to Sanchez. Sanchez last year, 33 home runs. He drove in 90. Pitch. He locked it. That is going to load up the bases for the Yankees with only one away. Second walk of the inning by Eduardo. Kept trying to get that fastball down in the in the zone, but uh, too far, too low, and not tempting for Sanchez to swing at. Trying to get a ground ball there and maybe a double play to get out of the inning. Austin 0 for 1. Struck out looking in the second. Leading all American League rookies with five home runs. No place to put him. And that is ball one. Judge at third. Stanton at second. Sanchez at first. Ball two. Rodriguez not nearly as crisp in this inning as he had been in the first three. Well, it seems like everything's changed since that first hit by Stanton. Walking Sanchez falling behind here now on Austin. From the line, the 2 0 passed him at 89. And to me, that looked like a changeup at 89 miles an hour. Had a little uh, dipping action on it. There's a grip, the changeup grip, and you see the bottom falling out of it. Trying to protect his 3 0 lead, the 2 1. He went. That's a swing and a miss, and it's two and two. That fastball this time coming inside. Everything inside so far to Austin. All loaded up with one down. Two two. He got him. He struck him out. How about that fastball? Ninety seven miles an hour. To fan him for the second time. We've been seeing him throwing ninety five tonight, but he humped it up there, and now the rain is coming down. Take a look at the sequence of pitches right here. Cut fastball to start him off. Then a fastball that's going to be down. A changeup on the 2 0 count. And the fastball to strike him out. Amica Insurance, great service, coverage, and a great price for auto, home, and life insurance. Coming down pretty good. And a foul at the plate here by Andohar. He struck out looking in the second inning. Two down. Saw some lightning in the background just a few moments ago, so maybe that thunderstorm's coming through now. They're electing to play through it at the moment. But the base is jammed. Six strikeouts for the left hander tonight. And the 0 1. Now it's nothing at two. 97 again on that fastball. It's the hardest we've seen Rodriguez throw. 
ever. In the raindrops here at Yankee Stadium. Trying to strike out back to back hitters with the bases loaded. The rain is let up considerably. Rodriguez is not. The 0 2 coming. Again, some distant lightning. It's also cooled off about five degrees in the last ten minutes. The 0 2 once again. Fly ball center field driving back Mookie Betts. He's got room out there and he's got it on the edge of the warning track. Rodriguez buckling down and leaves him loaded. Hold a three nothing lead as we go to the top half of the fifth inning. Still flashes of lightning. Those continue as Hanley gets in. Hanley Ramirez has two RBIs tonight. One on a ground out, one on a base hit. They'll be followed by Martinez and Bogart. So it's three, four, and five for the Sox against CC Sabathia, who's allowed eight hits. And a foul away. Sox trying to get back into a first place tie with the Yankees. They're a game back at the moment. Also trying to end New York's eight game winning streak. And he popped it up foul back out of play. Till last season, Sabathia had not had a winning season since 2013. Battling injuries. An outstanding career. On the Cy Young in the American League in 07. He's been named to six All Star teams. He's had quite a career, there's no question. No, he can't take that away from him. Good. Made the transformation from a complete power pitcher to a finesse pitcher who can still get out. Mookie Betts has really handled him tonight. Mookie's three for three. Ben Intendi with a double. And a one two to Hanley Ramirez. Did he? he did not offer. Eric Cooper said no swing. So two and two. These teams will next play a three game set at the very end of June. Let be here in the Bronx. And then next season in London. There's a shot. That one driven deep to left. Sailing back. And that ball is out of here into the bullpen. A wicked line drive by Hanley, who's hit two home runs the last two nights. And the Red Sox are on top, four to nothing. Number five. For Hanley, who has driven in three runs tonight. Well, it's lightning out right now, and Hanley just brought the thunder. A line shot into the Red Sox bullpen. They try to work him up in the zone, and they've been doing that all night long, and he got on top of one right there. That ball was really hit hard. Our high strength steel play brought to you by New England Chevy dealers and the Chevy Silverado. JD Martinez trying to go back to back. Now JD has struck out and hit into a fielder's choice. So back to back nights. Hanley's having a great evening. The rain is coming down hard again. And they are going to hold up play right now. So we are in a rain delay as of this moment. The seconds after Hanley. Crossed home plate. Speedway donates $500 to Boston Children's Hospital for every Red Sox homer. And don't forget all summer long to stop by your local Speedway and quench your thirst with a refreshing Speedy Freeze. So we're in a rain delay. 
They've been looking at the radar, and we do believe this is going to blow by, but right now they don't want to play through it. Red Sox leading the Yankees here in the top half of the fifth inning, four to nothing. With Hanley Ramirez driving in three runs. And Sabathia getting knocked around pretty good. And the rain really starting to come down here in New York City. And the way Rodriguez is playing, the way he is pitching tonight, you hope it's a very short one. And yeah, it might be. It might be one of those, you know, hard rains that come down for about five minutes and, and leave us, but there has been the lightning in the area and that in the com that in the combination of really raining hard now. You got to get this field covered. Can't play through this. Count will be 0 and 1 on JD when he steps in there again. Holder appearing in his 10th of the season last night got the victory. Echo Store Technologies donates $50 to the Clada Fund for every Red Sox hit in the month of May. The Clada Fund is the charitable foundation of the Dropkick Murphys. Learn more at EchoStore.com. Echo Store Technologies, your data center solutions provider. The Red Sox swinging the bats early against Sabathia. It began with a Mookie Betts double. In the very first inning, Hanley Ramirez would drive him in for the first of his three RBIs with a ground out. The Sox would get two more in the third inning and another run here in the fifth inning on the blast by Hanley. And the hitting stars tonight, Mookie Betts with three hits, a stolen base at the top of the lineup, and of course Hanley with three RBIs and the home run. Well, Holder is set to go, and we're ready to resume play. So the rain delay in the end will be just shy of an hour. And again, Martinez with an 0 and 1 count on him. He has struck out. He's also hit into a fielder's choice tonight. Sox and Yankees set to resume now after the rain delay in New York. And great job by Adam Wake and Steve on the rain delay. Spectacular. And it was all that. Here's the 0 1. Ground ball into the shift. Gregorius will flip on to get him just in time. One man gone. Stay on top of the latest Red Sox news with Nesson's free Red Sox text alerts. From breaking news to in game alerts, Nesson will make sure you're in the know. To sign up, just text Red Sox to 536 536. Message and data rates may apply. One away for Xander Bogart. Xander has singled. He's also struck out tonight. Rain delay officially 55 minutes. What'd you do during the rain delay? Stood here with you and watched it rain. <laughs> Hope that it would stop quickly. It wasn't that bad, was it? I mean, in the end, if Eduardo Rodriguez can return, <laughs> that's a very good thing for the Red Sox. Enter three for five last night, one for two tonight. Sox have out hit the Yankees nine to one. And a one nothing from Holder. A breaking ball snapped in there. So the Red Sox arrival in Toronto will be a little bit later than originally anticipated. The one one. That'd be nice to come out of the break and, and the Red Sox, you know, score some more, score a few more, keep the keep the pressure on the Yankees just halfway through the ball game. Come back from that delay, it's like starting all over again. One down, the bases are clear. And that is in there for strike three and a bit of a generous call on the slider. And yeah, Bogos didn't like it, but it did look like it had a little bit of the outside corner. And after a rain delay, a pitch that close is probably going to be called a strike. <laughs> so Xander one for three. That'll send up Mitch Moreland. Struck out twice against CC Sabathia. While the big lefty was in there. 
did you find it really difficult after rain delay to come back and, and yeah, get up again? Yeah, it is. It is, you know, because you, you hang around, you, you hang around the clubhouse a little bit, you try to stay loose, you don't know when it's going to stop, and then when they say they're taking the top off, that's when you start getting ready again. Come back, a nice snatch there by Holder, and he'll flip on to get him. And that'll do it. Red Sox on top, four to nothing in the middle of the fifth. So here comes Erod back out to work to eight, nine, and one. Here at the bottom of the fifth inning. Needs to get through this half inning to qualify for a victory. Red Sox in front, four to nothing. Torres is struck out. Torres is struck out. And last time up, Gardner struck out. And then do up. He flails away and comes up empty. Now let's see if they run. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> You've got A-Rod on the brain. Yeah. <laughs> let's see if E-Rod comes back with the same type of fastball he had prior to the rain. Remember, he was hitting uh, 97 at times. That's a cut fastball right there at 89 miles an hour. Here's who you were thinking of. He's, he's still hanging in there. Yeah, he's in my head now. Got in my head. No J Lo though. And back to Iran. And fires a one two. Do you think he ever runs into tech? I can tell you this. I, I Jason Baratek, after they had that brawl at Fenway Park, asked myself. And what was now announcing games to not use a rod, not to call him a rod, called Alex Rodriguez. No kidding. Yeah, couldn't stand it. Did not know that two two foul back. You could go into almost any bar in Boston for the following years after that dust up at Fenway and see that picture of Tech. Holding on to Jason, uh, holding on to uh, A Rod around the uh, home plate after that dust up. 2 2 in there for strike three. Caught him looking. He's fanned him twice. A cut fastball again right here by Rodriguez. Cutting right to the inside corner. Number seven for the left hander. Now trying to get Torres for the second time. One away in the fifth. Red Sox trying to snap the Yankees' eight-game win streak. Here's the 0-1. Oh. And leading it four zip in the fifth. Rodriguez working with Vasquez. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Huh. 95 in there. Yeah, still good velocity right there at 95. But bottom of the strike zone away. Quickly ahead one and two. Gardner on deck. So he wants to change up. And he bounced it. Activity for the Red Sox now. Heath Hembree getting going in the bullpen. So maybe only one inning for Rodriguez after the 55 minute rain delay. He's given up one hit. And it was Stanton a single in the fourth inning. That was a frozen rope off the glove of Devers at third base. That was a bullet. Yeah, I don't think there's any way you can question that. You know, not being hit. I mean, it was it was hit so hard, it almost took the glove off Devers. Three-two. Spoiled by Torres. Yankees have won 17 of 18. The only loss in there came on April 30th. And 
that was two to one at Houston. Oakland is already here. The A's are at the Red Sox hotel. The Sox just left. Swung on and missed. He gets another one. Back to back K's here in the fifth inning. Give him eight for the game. Yeah, he struck out the eight, nine. It is four times so far in this game today. This fastball just sails up and away. It was supposed to be inside, but it goes away and gets a very good result out of it. So he has come back very strong from the rain delay and now tries to make it three consecutive K's. He did that in the third inning. And it was these same three hitters Torres, Torres, and Gardner. And that's strike one. Boy, that's right on the corner at 95. That that pitch is unhittable. Yeah, he has been painting corners tonight with that fastball. The 1 0. Well, the stuff he has had tonight, it is a crying shame there was a 55 minute rain delay. You wanted to see this guy work for seven, eight innings. And he has been dynamite through four and two thirds, eight strikeouts, one hit. He's walked two, actually three. And now trying to make it a one, two, three fifth inning. Up the middle. Sliding stab, Bogarts. He throws and he got him at first base. That's a brilliant play by Xander Bogarts, and they go in order. Great play, you know, a good defensive series here for uh, Xander Bogarts. Last night making a play going to his right. Tonight up the middle takes a base hit away from Gardner. Rodriguez loves it. Gardner hates it. Awaken 180, the official weight loss program of the Boston Red Sox. Xander with a sliding stab. So here come the Red Sox batting again in the sixth inning ahead four to nothing. And because that was a quick inning, there's a possibility that Rodriguez may come back out. Now Hembry's up and warming again in the bullpen. We shall see as Nunez cuts and misses. He's one for two. It's actually Barnes up. Matt Barnes up in the pen. We'll see how Alex Cora likes to play this. After the 55 minute rain delay, Eduardo came back once again throwing bullets. That one popped up into right. Judge with a lengthy run, but he'll get there, and that's in fair territory making that play. And Nunez is retired, one away. Tonight, after Red Sox coverage on Nesson Sports today, we'll have a full recap of this Red Sox Yankees matchup, plus a preview of the Eastern Conference Finals between the Cavs and the Celtics. Nesson Sports today is presented by People's United Bank, where the technology is as helpful as the people. Devers one for two with a base hit. One of nine hits for Boston, just one for the Yankees. Oh. I got to tell you, we have seen Eduardo Rodriguez throw the ball well. In the past, we've seen him do it against the Yankees on several occasions. But any doubt in your mind, this is the best you've seen him? No, this is the best I've seen him this year. Yeah, without question. And basically, it's because of his fastball. He's had, uh, you know, a little bit extra on that all night long. His location with it too. Vasquez on deck, 4 0 Boston in the sixth. Sox trying to grab one here tonight. And down he goes, strike three. He's one for three tonight. When hip and knee pain force you to sit out, make sure you visit the joint replacement experts at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. Visit BIDMC.org. Two away, Vasquez has gone 0 for 2. Betts moving to the on deck area. He has three hits already. Okay, with a couple of singles and a double. He also has a stolen base. Oh, one from Holder. 
Got some pretty good life on his fastball too at 94. That time inside on Vasquez. Two coming. And a pop up in the center field. Gardner says he has it. And that will do it for the Red Sox. So go one, two, three in the sixth inning. Well, the sixth coming your way. Matt Barnes out of the bullpen. Now Barnes took the loss last night. Walked a man, gave up a double in one third of an inning. Start of the eighth, faced three batters. Well, the Red Sox up six to five and could not hold it. Aaron Judge, the first man in against him, he's walked twice. So Eduardo Rodriguez goes five, qualifies for win, but now the bullpen takes over. Yeah, it's going to be a bullpen game for the Red Sox now from here on out. Rodriguez with terrific stuff tonight. One hit, eight strikeouts, and five scoreless innings. Oh. Yankees will have the chances warming. And Barnes with a 1 1. Skips that one all the way to the backstop. First pitch fastball and back to back breaking balls by Barnes. Gregorius and then Stanton to follow. So, a very tough part of the order here for the Yankees. Two one to Judge. Took a big swing on a 96 mile an hour fastball. Yeah, maybe the Red Sox think something's up because uh, you see Vasquez using multiple signs with nobody at second base. And that may be what Bonds was talking about. You know, he Vasquez going over the signs, what they wanted to do. Usually it's one sign and let's go, but uh, as you can see, multiple signs. So whatever they decide on. 2-2 two, two to judge. Judge only hit 151 against the Red Sox last year. They really held him down, but been a different story this series. 10 for 19. He's made some adjustments. Here's the 3-2 now from Barnes. Oh, and not what he wanted to do. As Judge walks for the third time, get excited, America! Duncan go twoser here. Two breakfast sandwiches for two, three, or five bucks. America runs on Duncan. Limited time offer. Restrictions apply. The leadoff walk from Barnes will send up Gregorius. His flight out popped up. He is 0 for 2. Red Sox have really shut this guy down. He's 0 for 10 in the series. One on, none out. Giancarlo Stanton on deck. And a 1 0 2 Gregorius. Wraps that one in the air, left center field, honorable Benintendi, and he's going to get there. He zigged and he zagged a bit, but he got there. And back to first judge. That ball kind of slicing off the bat of uh, the left handed hitter, and a little trouble for Benintendi. Not major trouble, but as you said, he zigged and zagged and was able to make the catch. As 
Benetton, and now he comes back across very quickly. He was heading back, then cuts across to make the catch. The ball didn't travel quite as he expected it to. Here's Stanton now, one for two, with their only single, their only hit period. A line drive that he ripped off the glove of Devers at third base. He takes ball one. He had a two run double last night after two home runs in game one. Fly ball, but he didn't get a little pop up there. Bogarts will backpedal and put it away, and they're two down. Tomorrow at six, don't miss Red Sox first pitch presented by Joseph Abood, available at Men's Warehouse. Get a full preview of the Red Sox next series against the Blue Jays. Two away for Sanchez. Tell you what, not many left during the almost one hour rain delay. The crowd really hung in there. Yeah, they did. Well, you know, they had so many late comebacks by this club. Yeah. They know that. Huge part of the Yankees' success to date is Sanchez. He's grounded out and he's taken ball four. Judge still glued to first base. And a little chopper to Devers. And a bomb hole. He recovers and he gets it. Able to hang on and got the out to retire the side. Against the new pitcher, Dellen Betances, who has not been pitching well for the Yankees. This is the first time we've seen him in the series. Oh. He's a 5.79 ERA. He's given up a lot of hits. Rain is starting to fall again. Well, of course, the game is official. Red Sox ahead for zip. And Betance still has a good fastball. First two at 97. But both out of the strike zone to Mookie Betts. Good night for Mookie again. Three for three. He has scored two runs and stolen one. High fly right field up into the raindrops. Judge moving over into foul ground. Lunging and he hangs on. Made a really fine play down there. So first time Mookie has been retired. Yeah, long way to go for Judge, and he's got that wall coming up. He's got a snow cone. And even when he hits the wall, he's able to hold on to it into that glove. Betts very disappointed at the outcome of that. Sends up Andrew Benintendi, one for three, a double and a run tonight. A hundred. Hundred miles an hour. So they have at least two guys on the staff who throw 100. Chapman, of course, the other. He can get it to 103 plus. A ball and a strike on Benintendi. Hanley Ramirez had a big night going, and he's on deck. He's driven in three runs. Oh. Rain falling again. We've already had one rain delay. 55 minutes. Crack back, ground ball. Torres off the mud. Two up and two down for Hanley Ramirez. Our custom suits are designed by Joseph Abood and they're made in America using only the finest Italian fabrics available at Men's Warehouse. You can text Nesson 1 to 66960 to receive $100 off your next Joseph Abood custom suit purchase at Men's Warehouse. Data rates may apply. I wonder if those uh, rain jackets are custom made by Joseph Abood. <laughs> I would I think not. Did I tell you I got a text from him? He was from Tokyo the other night watching the first game of the series. Tokyo. Watch. Tokyo. Yep. It was like 8 o'clock in the morning there. Dedicated beyond belief to the Red Sox. Hanley's first RBI on a ground out in the first inning. He singled in a run in the third and then hit a wicked line drive into the Sox bullpen in the fifth inning. All of that off Sabathia. 
Red Sox got four runs, nine hits against CC Sabathia tonight. Launch angle of 18 degrees, the lowest by a Red Sox player this year on the homer. Our thanks to Alex Spear of the Boston Globe for that. Still counted though. Fouled off the catcher. Three, Mike. Counted for his fifth home run. Two down, nobody aboard. And Batances with a one two. Hey. He struck him out. Red Sox are going order here in the seventh. Well, that's one way to do it. Keeping the rain away. Sox on top, four nothing. Going to the bottom half of the seventh inning. Heath Hembry about to get into the ball game. After Matt Barnes walked him in and then got the next three men easily. And as we mentioned, it's going to be by committee the rest of the way out of the bullpen after Eduardo Rodriguez went five sizzling innings. He struck out eight. He hit 97 with his fastball several times and gave up only one hit to a very, very good lineup. Here's the one hit that he gave up back in the fourth inning. Line shot by John Carlos Stanton and off the glove of Devers. And that is the only hit of the night for the New York Yankees. So it'll be Austin, Andohar, and Torres. Among them, they do not have a hit tonight. And they have struck out on three occasions. Red Sox with a 4 0 lead here in the bottom half of the seventh. Shreve going in the pen for New York, the lefty. Austin has punched out twice looking. And the last time was a really big spot in the game. The fourth inning, bases were loaded. He lifts a pop up into right. Martinez is all night to get under. First man gone in the seventh. Saturday on an all new dining playbook, Billy and Jenny take the field at Fenway and talk to Alex Cora about his favorite childhood foods. Plus, I learned how to make a special Red Sox cocktail called the Green Monster VIP a Casket Flagging. Catch an all-new dining playbook Saturday morning at 9 on Nesson, driven by the New England Chevy dealers. And O'Hare next. He has struck out and flight out. 0 for 2. Bases empty. And one down. Red Sox pitching has been exceptional. Line shot. Audible Martinez. He's going to cut it off with a backhand. That'll drop in for their second hit of the ball game. And O'Hara now one for three. That comes with one down. Pretty good job by J.D. Martinez on a wet outfield out there to go over and cut that ball off and keep it to just a single. Remember that, ball, that ball, grass is real wet out there and that ball's skipping. But Martinez backhands it, gets it in quickly, and goes into hard the single. Labor Torres 0 for 2. With two K's in the book. Started the night hitting 333, two home runs. A rare win tonight for the Baltimore Orioles. They beat Kansas City 11 to 6. That's their 10th win of the year. But they started play tonight 17 games out of first place. Worst record in the majors. Could not hold up. Swing and a miss, 0 and 2. Only 97 on that fastball. Something's in the air tonight with the Red Sox uh, in their fastballs. 97 for Hembry. Speaking of guys who throw hard, Joe Kelly loosening in the pen. 
Joe had a lot of fun. Even though he came into the ball game to some of the loudest boos I've heard in a long time the other night. He said it was great. It was like a playoff atmosphere. Fouled back still 0 2 on Torres and Torres on deck. A win tonight for the Red Sox. They would pull even the first place tie again with the Yankees. Yankees going to stay here to take on the Oakland A's so while the Sox go to Toronto. The last three of the road swing. Which will complete a 10 game 11 day trek. It's actually at the moment 14 and 7 on the road. And to hide the runner at first base. They haven't had many get to first base tonight. 97 again for Henry. Might have him if he drops a slider on him right here. We'll see. He's one two. A little pop up on a check swing, and that's going to drop in right field for a base hit. Andohar's on his way into third. He'll stop there. Torres got very fortunate. He gets himself a single, and thus the grin on that half swing. Yeah, we've seen a couple of those uh, tonight. He did drop the slide around at that time, and it's just a check swing that he makes, and he drops it out there in the, the outfield for the. For the base hit, so sometimes you get very lucky in this game. Neil Walker being announced as a pinch hitter for Torres. There's Andujar reading that the ball's going to drop in, so he has no problem going to third base. That's the first time tonight, and it's the seventh inning where the Yankees have put more than one hit up in an inning. Eight game hitting streak for Torres. He'll take it. And Walker, who's been a very hot hitter, will dig in now. Last six games, six for 15. Only one down, runners at first and third. And ball one. Red Sox have nine hits. The Yankees have three. And Hembry trying to hold. They appeal to third base umpire Blazer, but he said no swing. Yeah, it's two zero. Good, good pitch. He let the pitch at the outside corner. Take a look. It's supposed to be inside, but yeah, right in the corner. Crowd has come to life. Here's the 2 0. Ball three. Now, you know, when teams are going like the Yankees are going. And the way they've been coming back in games, you know, you get in that dugout and you're behind, and you're late in the game, and you, you just walk around telling each other it's our time of the game. It's our time of the game. They believe in it. Well, they already have 10 come from behind wins, including one last night. The 3 0 from Hembry. And he walked him. Here comes Alex Cora. The bases are going to be loaded for the Yankees and for Gardner. Came up in a spot like this last night and came up with a big hit. So
So Hembree will step aside. A couple of base hits and a walk, and it's Joe Kelly coming in. And once again, we do not expect Joe to be greeted with kisses and hugs here in New York. Run for recovery 5K at Franklin Park Sunday, May 20. It's still time to register. Visit BostonBulldogsRunning.org for more information. A little bit of a hornet's nest here that Kelly will inherit. Bases loaded. Gardner the batter. He's gone 0 for 3 tonight. One away. Bottom of the seventh. 4 0 Red Sox. And his first pitch. That'll be ball one. And the very tough part of the lineup coming up Gardner, Judge, Gregorius, Stanton. Only one out in the inning. Gardner, a huge night last night, an eighth inning two run triple. 2 0. Last night, Gardner had a triple. And almost. Right here, you can see it going in that gap off Kimbrell back to the 399. That was the game changer. Judge would follow with a home run, 9 6 the final, New York. And a 2 0 to Gardner. Ball three. So Kelly has to throw a strike right here. Judge on deck. They're still wide awake here in New York. Taking an S ball four. It's going to force in a run. Andohar will score to make it four to one. Charge that run to Heath Hembry. And then Levanji will come out for a big mound visit. Gardner picks up his 13th RBI by taking ball four. And Aaron Judge is next. And all of a sudden, the Red Sox having difficulty throwing strikes. Yeah, this has been a kind of a habit that the Red Sox bullpen has been falling into recently, throwing, giving up some walks that have really hurt. Judge has walked three times tonight, has had very little to swing at. He hit a blistering two run home run in the eighth inning last night. Now he has the bases loaded in the seventh tonight. Only one away. Yep, Kelly has come on and missed with five in a row. And for the Red Sox, it's nine in a row that have missed. Ground ball deep short that's through for a base hit. Torres in to score. That'll make it four to two. Now four times tonight Judge has been on base. Three walks he picks up the base hit the RBI. It's 28th of the season. And still big trouble here for the Red Sox. Base is still loaded and Gregorio is coming to the plate. Right on top of that ball for the ground ball base hit. Taking no chances, holding the man at second base. Uh, excuse me, at third base. Gregorius now, he's gone 0 for 3. He's 0 for 11 in the series. Suddenly a two run game. 
Ground ball, little number. Nunez will go to second base and get the out as another run comes in to score. Walker touching home plate. Gardner down to third. That'll make it 4 3. And here comes Stanton. That's really the only play that Nunez had as he tried to get, you know, one of the lead runners to get him out of scoring position. Runner was already by him, so he couldn't tag him and then throw to first base. So the tying run is in third suddenly for the Yankees. All three runs in the inning charged to Hembry. Stanton's got one for three with a base hit. Two down. And the first one to Stanton. He thought about it, skips away. Here comes Gardner. He will score. The Yankees have tied it. A wild pitch to bring in Brett Gardner. Unbelievable. Curveball outside from Kelly that's going to bounce. Vasquez can't do anything with it. Gardner comes on to score. Tie ball game just like that. That ball just carried right off his left arm. Gregorius going down to second, so the go ahead run in scoring position. And a 1 0. Bounding ball, backing up Moreland. He'll take it himself. And that will retire the side, but that was a disastrous inning for the bullpen. A 4 4 game at the end of seven. DCU Digital Federal Credit Union, what can DCU save you? Eighth inning at Yankee Stadium, brand new ball game. The Yankees just scored four times to tie it. Here's JD Martinez against Patances. That goes to the backstop for ball one. Neil Walker stays in the game to play third for the Yankees. JD 0 for 3 in this one. And it'll be Moreland and Nunez in the eighth. High fly ball right field that's deep. Judge is back circling a bit to the wall leaps he cannot get it that ball is out of here. It's a home run for J.D. Martinez and the Red Sox have taken the lead back. His ninth of the season he extends his hitting streak to 11 in a row with some style. Uh, we kind of figured that you know at some point in this series Martinez would find right field here at Yankee Stadium. And he just did about the first row fastball inside but look at his hands come inside the baseball and then launch that ball to the opposite field and here in New York where it's very shallow out there. Wow did a, a fan interfere with that. Xander Bogart's the hitter he is one for three. Well, take a look. Take a look. Now uh, the ball clearly was over the fence. So number nine for JD and the Red Sox are in front again. They about hit New York ten to four second home run of the ball game for the Red Sox Hanley Ramirez had the first one JD Martinez the second. The 2 0, now 2 and 1 on Bogarts. Throws him a slider on the 2 0 count. Bogarts thinking about that, that fastball, it's about 97 98. I think they're bringing a security guard over to that fan that you were talking about, Jerry. The 2 1 almost hits him. Had to spin out of the way. It's hard to tell. You know, the ball goes up, and I can't see the baseball yet, but the fan. 
reaching over and I don't know he, he, a little bit surprised that the Yankees didn't look at that. You know if there's no fan or interference how can they throw him out. Here's the three one. And the strike. It's oh. a good point. <laughs> He's got a pretty good beef I think. But I, I'm a little bit surprised Mr. Boone didn't uh, at least yeah. take a look at that. I think you're right. I mean, it's a home run. You, you gotta, you know, you gotta try to at least make an effort and say, hey, that was a, that was fan interference. Judge could have caught that. Filed away. Now that would be, I believe, a crew chief review. But he can ask them to do it. He yeah. Can, he can implore them to do it. We've seen that before in New York, especially the old stadium. And two on Xander. And foul away. So the Sox back in front. Nothing's going to be easy between these two all summer long. Going to be a lot of high drama. Already has been in both series. 3 2. He struck him out swinging. Third time tonight for Xander. One man out in the eighth. Yeah, two of the three, three times he's been on a breaking ball. Fans, you can become part of the Franklin family just like Mitch Moreland. Log on to FranklinSports.com and design your own custom batting gloves and join the fam. Franklin Sports, proud to be the official batting glove of the Boston Red Sox and Major League Baseball. Pitch tonight 0 for 3. Get a two run homer in game two. In fact, he's hit four home runs in the last five games. Sox would love another. They've hit two of them tonight. All right, grounded behind the bag. Austin will handle it. And that's the second out. You know, Dave, you and I were talking between innings about taking Ebron out of the game. And, you know, they brought him back out in the fifth inning after the rain delay and then brought in the bullpen after that one inning where he looked pretty good. But I think the reason they did that is because of the, the hour rain delay, 55 minute rain delay, and he had 93 pitches. And I think that's why they took him out at that time. That's the question that'll be asked Carter after the game why sure. did you take him out? Because he still had really good stuff. He still had good stuff, but I think that had something to do with it. The, uh, the layoff yep. and 93 pitches. I would have to bet you're right. Erod was dealing tonight. He will have no decision. But the Sox have the lead back. Nunez has gone one for three with a single. Bill Devers on deck the 1 0 from Batances breaks in there for a strike and you know, coming into tonight Rodriguez was averaging 100 pitches per game so you mix in 93 with an hour rain delay I think that's why he came out they'll check back for the post game with Alex Cora the 1 1 last foul Marta tonight with eight strikeouts. He was overpowering against an outstanding lineup. One hit, one two, knocks him down. But a breaking ball that just didn't break. Yeah, a slider that didn't slide. Just spins up the home plate. But it's still spinning at 87 miles an hour. He struck him out, and that will do it. But J.D. Martinez homers, and the Sox are back in the lead. Five runs, ten hits for the Red Sox, four runs, four hits for the Yankees, who scored four times in the seventh. 
They capitalized on a couple of walks as well to tie the ball game. But J.D. Martinez has just belted a home run to right. Looked like at least a possibility of fan interference on the play. We don't think there was, but kind of interesting that the Yankees did not ask for a crew chief review on that. Yeah, anytime the ball goes in that area right there and you see gloves flying all over the place, I think it's worth just asking anyway. Yankees would not have been charged with a challenge. Sanchez has gone over two of the walk. Austin on deck about to face Joe Kelly again for the first time since they were both suspended for the dust up in Boston. And the count goes to 2 and 0. Oh. Got a guy to worry about first, right here at Sanchez. Very dangerous guy. Two zero, and that is going to be ball three. Had thrown him a fastball yet. Two curveballs and a slider. Sox have Brian Johnson loosening up in the pen. So Joe has to come all the way back here against Sanchez. Here's the 3 0 to the slugging catcher. And he pounds it in at 97. Sox by a run and the 3 1 to Sanchez. And he takes ball four. It's been very frustrating from a Red Sox point of view, all these walks here late in the game. Started the sixth inning off with a walk, started the seventh inning off. So here comes Austin against Kelly. It was a battle of a different sort last time they squared off. With the fisticuffs at Fenway. Tonight he's gone 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts and a flyout. Right now, Kelly just trying to throw a strike. Tying run on for the Yankees in the eighth. High fly ball into left center field. Moving over Mookie Betts and Benintendi. Benintendi with the catch. So Austin was not in there very long. Check out what events are coming up at Foxwoods Resort Casino. Rogers and Hammerstein Cinderella playing right now through this Sunday. The Hollywood Vampires on May 20th. And Chris Angel from June 27th through July 1st. And too hard to climb in. He's got one for three with a base hit. Torres is on deck and timeout. Kelly taking a long time between pitches. Been struggling a little bit with his control. One down, a man on. Has thrown 16 pitches, only five strikes. And 
and his one nothing to Andohar. Ricochet foul off the umpire. Vasquez quick to respond to Stu Shearwater, but he appears to be all right. And 98 mile an hour fastball right here fouled off and right off that right shoulder. Ooh. And that's the sting a little bit. Yeah. It'll wake you up. And late night here in New York. Red Sox leading 5 4 in the third and final game. Thanks to the J.D. Martinez homer. Here's the one one I'll throw over to first first and back in Sanchez. Sox scored a run in the first two in the third another run in the fifth inning to take a four nothing lead. And the Yankees got four in the seventh. And then Martinez struck with a home run to right in the top of this eighth inning. One and two. Red Sox have to fly tonight to Toronto. Fortunately, not a really lengthy flight. Chris Sale on the mound. 7:07 tomorrow night against Aaron Sanchez. David Price to go on Saturday afternoon against Marco Estrada and Drew Pomerantz on Sunday at one against Marcus Stroman. Stroman's 0-5 and five in ERA near eight. That is really surprising. Kelly thinking about a punch out. He gets it. He struck him out with a breaking ball. Yeah. Got ahead with fast balls and then goes to the breaking ball to put him away. Good curveball here from Kelly. CBS Health is investing $50 million over five years to extend their commitment to helping people lead tobacco free lives. You can learn more at CBSHealth.com slash be the first. So two gone. Here's Glaber Torres. He factored in their uprising in the seventh inning with a base hit and scored a run. 99 in there for strike one. He's starting to find the strike zone here. Gary Sanchez on at first base. He walked to get there. Two down though, and here's the 0 1. Again, back in. Sanchez does not have a steal on the season does not run well but a couple of throws over there to just to let him know Shreve and Robertson and the Yankee pen Shreve had been all warmed up and Kelly's one strike pitch line drive base hit into left. So Torres has his second hit in as many at bats, first and second, and Walker coming up. Well, this will be interesting. There, you've got Brian Johnson loosening in the bullpen, the left-hander, and Walker coming to the plate, and it's going to remain Joe Kelly. Mound visit by Dana Lavangi. So a walk, a single, and there are two men on. It's been a tale of two different games, hasn't it? Yeah, very much. The early going, first five innings was all Erod. Yep. And he allowed only one hit in the first five innings. They really couldn't touch him. But the Red Sox bullpen has been touched up for plenty of base runners since he departed. Eight base runners over the last two and two thirds. And that's when most of the scoring took place. So Walker to climb in. He walked and scored in the seventh. First and second, two gone. And Alex Cora deciding to stay with the right hander, even though his left hander is all warmed in the bullpen. We'll see how this works out. 
in there for strike one. Walker's been one of their hotter hitters in recent games. Kelly very deliberate with men on. Now comes the 0 1. He's ahead 0 2. Right, you know, Walker's a switch hitter, so it was, it was, you know, take a choice. Stay with Kelly. Make him hit from the left side, go to Johnson, and switch around on the right side. They feel more comfortable, I guess, with Kelly out there right now. Gardner on deck. First and second. Knocks up on a home run by Martinez into the right field stands. And the 0 2. Ninety nine, but he missed with it. Yeah, trying to get him to chase that high fastball. And Walker on this side of the plate, 208, with eight RBIs. On the other side of the plate, 167. Yeah. No RBIs. <laughs> Kelly trying to put him away with a 1 2 pitch. Left it downstairs with the slider. Two and two. Yep, Joe recently was in a very tight spot in Texas. Bases loaded, came on and punched out two men. The game the Red Sox won. Now first and second with two out here in the eighth. And looking for his second K in the book in this inning. Shot but foul. He hit it wickedly but foul. I tell you, this guy's swing right now scares me because he's been right on everything that he's been swinging at. Just out in front right here on this one, but uh, I mean, he's swinging about very well. Five visits now. That's why he held up that five, Aaron Boone. Mound visits remaining. And home plate umpire Shearwater going over to chat with Alex Cora. And a 2 2. In there, strike three. Got him with a changeup to freeze Walker. 5 4 Boston. Now, Joe Kelly coming with a changeup. I believe it's the only changeup that he has thrown all night long. 86 miles an hour at the bottom of the strike zone. Other than that, it had been mostly curveballs and fastballs. And Completely fools Walker on the changeup. He has come up huge a couple of times on this road trip and just did it again. Yeah. Wasn't easy for him, that's for sure. Did it in Texas and he's done it here tonight with runners at first and second. Old Dominion, the official freight carrier of Major League Baseball and the Red Sox. So here we go to the ninth inning. Red Sox could certainly use a little bit of breathing room. 
And Shreve is out of the bullpen to left hander to take on Rafael Devers. Vasquez will follow and then Mookie Betts. Red Sox with five runs, ten hits. The Yankees four runs on five hits. Got a 55 minute rain delay tonight. Sock foul We've also had a J.D. Martinez home run in the eighth inning, and that's the difference in the game. And the three and four hitters with home runs in the game. Hanley Ramirez with one in the fifth. And then Martinez in the eighth. Number nine for J.D. Martinez. 0 2. And Craig Kimbrell throwing in a pen. Red Sox trying to change their luck by wearing their blue tops tonight. They generally don't do that unless it's a Friday. But after losing the first two games of the series. With that unusual style, almost turns his back to the hitter before delivering. And a one-two toward left center. On the move, though, is Stanton. He'll make the play. So that is out number one. Long games mean late night, so why not take the time right now to place your Dunkin' Donuts order? Using on the go the mobile ordering app on the Dunkin' app. Place your order right now and just click I'm ready to pick up in the morning. America runs on Dunkin'. Vasquez 0 for 3. He's grounded out twice, fly to center. So Alex Cora getting ready to. Bring on Craig Campbell, who has 300 career saves. And looking to grab a win here in New York and get back into a tie for first. Here's the 0 1. Mookie Betts is next. Retrieve home of the 0 2 to the Sox catcher. Yep, after 11 p.m. on a work and school night, but still thousands of fans here. Even with the rain delay to draw it out 55 minutes. But another tight one here in the Bronx. Ground ball ranging left is Walker. He got him. Two away. Monday, May 14 is Kimbrell Grow a Beard Night at Fenway. First 10,000 in attendance receive a Craig Kimbrell Grow a Beard Planter presented by Toyo Tires. For tickets and more information, visit redsoxcom promos. And he's going to have to do it when he comes in against the top of the order, Gardner, Judge, and Gregorius. Mookie tonight with three hits. He's gone three for four. He's hitting 361. And a grand slam back in April against this pitcher. One of six for the Red Sox already. With 13 homers to lead the big leagues. 2 0. Oh. Here's Stu Shearwater telling Sanchez, a catcher, it just missed outside. I'm going to miss that when we go to Toronto. Yeah, I love listening in on the umpires. Oh. 
Two balls, one strike on Mookie. 5 4 Boston in the ninth. Ben Intendi on deck. And he may get to hit in a moment. The count goes to three and one. Andrew has a double back in the third, scored a run. Good count for Betts. Ball four. And he takes ball four. So he's aboard for the fourth time, and Ben Intendi. He's taking a real shine to Yankee Stadium. We'll step in next. Homer to the fifth inning last night. He has six home runs in just 13 games at Yankee Stadium since the start of 2017. The most for any visiting player in the last two years. Three with a one nothing. Ball two. He's having some difficulty finding home plate. Now Shree's one of those guys, you know, that when he delivers the ball to home plate, he kicks his leg behind the rubber. Now once he does that, he can't go to first base or it's a bar. So that's one thing that Mookie Betts uh, could get a read on. Mookie has a stolen base in this one. That came up even with the rubber when he goes to first base, but when he goes home, he goes behind the rubber. Andy Ramirez would be next. He's on deck. And a 2 nothing to Ben Attendee. Well, took a pretty big rip, 2-1. A lot of hitters with close stance. You got a close stance here from a pitcher. Mookie again establishing that lead. Here's the 2 1. Not running. With a victory here tonight, the Red Sox would improve to 4 and 3 on the road trip headed to Toronto. And it would end an eight game winning streak for the Yankees. A ways to go yet. Two two. Runner holding. And he strikes him out. So that'll do it for the Red Sox in the ninth inning. Kimbrell coming on trying to pin this one down. Five four Red Sox. So it's Craig Kimbrell. Who was charged with a second blown save of the season last night. But exactly 300 career saves. The fastest ever to get there. And a big one lined up right now at Yankee Stadium. 5 4 Sox in the lead. And he'll get the top of the order. Gardner will start it. The man who tripled off him last night. Judge on deck. And here we go to the bottom of the ninth. Gardner in this one is flied out, struck out, grounded out, walked and scored. Scored on a wild pitch in the seventh inning. And the Yankees got four to tie it.
You know, it's interesting. I, I, since the bullpen has come in the game, and that started with Barnes, they had a meeting at the mound. And every member of the Red Sox bullpen that's come in, they've used multiple signs with nobody at second base. So they must have decided that down in the bullpen that maybe something's going on. Let's try multiple signs. They didn't do it with Rodriguez. In there for a strike. It was probably something what the, the guys in the bullpen talked about. As soon as Bonds came in, he told Vasquez that, and ever since then, they've been going with multiples. One one to Gardner. Two balls, one strike. Judge has not made an out tonight. The on deck hitter has walked three times and singled. But the Yankees only have five hits. Kimbrell's 2 1. Passed him at 97. The 2 2. Two pitch to Brett Gardner. Chuck him out. 97 with the Swifty, he gets it. Goes up high, goes up around the letters to get this strike out against Gardner. Fastball at 97 that time to get the, the strike out. Elevating the fastball above the belt. So now power against power. Here's Judge. Three walks, a base hit, and RBI tonight. Starts him with a breaking ball for ball one. D.D. Gregorius on deck. Does have a home run against Kimbrell in his career. Ball two. He judges it very little swing out of this one. Now last night, fastball rising and then rising right out of Yankee Stadium into that screen area in center field. It was a two run shot in the eighth inning. Tonight, ninth inning. And a two nothing. Well, he didn't give in with the fastball, did he? Stay with the breaking ball on the 2 0 count. Judge 11 for 20 off Red Sox pitching this year. Kimbrell's 2 1 home. Rising heat 2 and 2. Ball not even close to being a strike. Way up high, around neck high. Really high at 6'8. Looking for back to back K's. And a high pop up into center field. Mookie Betts creeping in. Two down. 
So for Craig Kimbrell, one more to get. Gregorius will be next, and he's had a completely silent series. Does not have a hit in the three games. He did drive in a run with a ground out in the seventh inning, but he's been cold. The Red Sox have really chilled him all season long, actually. He's old for his last 23. Two down bases empty in the ninth. Nothing in one. Giancarlo standing on deck. The Red Sox want to leave him right there. One strike pitch. A little number charging on it. Kimbrell throws. Scooped up oh. at first base, and a ball game is over. Terrific play by Kimbrell and Moreland to end it. And the Red Sox are back in the win column 5 4 tonight, and they're back in first place. And they have ended the Yankees' eight game winning streak. 5 4, the final, and it is on to Toronto for the Red Sox. Adam?